XDC for you and me. Yep, I got an XDC story for you as they secure a huge amount of money and some funding to help them out. The big thing is what did they have to give up though to get that funding? And the Treasury wants to know what you think about government. No, this is not your chance to give the government the year number one. No, they want to know what you think about ensuring responsible development of digital assets. We'll get to that, but first the heat map. You have a broad look across, see some green here, nothing too big. We got Ethereum at 1320 run right now, up 2% in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin a little bit more positive here, 19,599, up two and a quarter percent. But moving on to the story, yep, the treasury wants to know what you think, no, nope, not about politics, but about responsible development of digital assets. The request for comment seeks input on the illicit finance and national security risks posed by digital assets. Treasury defines his last list to include, but not limited to, and this is why I thought this would pique your interest, cryptocurrencies, stable coins, and CBDCs. Comments must be submitted to the Treasury by November 3rd of 2022. Guess what, anyone? Do you want to comment to the Treasury? Let them know what your thoughts are, because guess what? You could find that link down below, because as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description description below. I'm definitely going to fill this out as soon as I'm done with this video. But now on to the XDC story. Let's go. XDC accelerates network expansion with LDA's $50 million investment. LDA Capital Limited, yep, gave them $50 million. Ritesh Kahad and Atul Kahade, the co-founders of XDC Network, are certain that the collaboration will accelerate network adoption, real-world use cases. The LDA is seen as a strategic partner rather than just a financier. Important here because, yes, they will be able to leverage each other, and that's the big difference between a partner and a financier. Usually a financier just says, hey, look, hey, hey, hey here's the money. Go do something with it. But on a partnership, there's going to be some exchange of services and that's what has me excited. The XCC founders have competence in LDA due to their proactive and strategic involvement in the network to improve the ecosystem. And here is the press release for you. Dubai United Arab Emirates, the founders of XDC Network have leveraged a portion of their personal tokens. See, and that's the key from the beginning. They had to give up a portion of their personal tokens, which is really good because that will not affect price directly. Yep, they're not dumping it on the open market. They're taking it from their own supply. And I know I get it. Their own supply usually eventually ends up in the personal market. I get that. But it is not an immediate impact right now. I'm thinking collateralized leverage. But anyways, the founders of XC Network have leveraged a portion of their personal tokens to secure a $50 million commitment from Global Alternative Investment Group, LDA Capital Limited, to accelerate the expansion and development of Layer 2 projects across the XDC ecosystem and to facilitate network adoption and real world utility. Everyone, that's what it's going to come down to. Network adoption, real world utility. Can any of these big crypto companies out there produce something that actually gives us daily use value in the world? And I'm not talking about us banging away on our phones, trading this and that. No, I'm talking about real world use case. Can you move money with it? Can you keep real time inventory on it without being able to fudge inventory? Because anyone out there that's ever worked for a corporation knows inventory are fudged all the time, but if inventories were kept on blockchain, you wouldn't be able to fudge them, would you? So real world use cases, that's what we need to see out of these cryptos. So from telling the treasury that they suck, I mean telling them how they could do an amazing job rolling out CBDCs through a private chain, to now XDC getting $50 million with the collateral being the founders own a personal stash of coins. I would rather that than them just dump a whole bunch into circulating supply and cause a massive mess all at once. So definitely some collaboration going on here. But the point I made earlier about utility use case, we have yet to see a crypto out there really just break the mold and do something groundbreaking that is really usable by everyone in the world today. A lot of crypto projects out there have some awesome applications, but guess what? They haven't found the right partnership yet in order to grow. Thank you for the comments that told me to do videos on XDC. You will see more about this in the future. And if you want to see more cool Web3 crypto stuff, check out this video right here. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the continuous support of this channel. We hit 10,000 subs. I'll catch y'all later.